Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today, we're going to take a look at a 2022 Jayco J Flight model number 38 BHDS. Now, it's a rear bedroom for the main bedroom and then a front secondary bedroom with a couple different iterations of that in the front area. Front queen, front bunks, front bunks with dinette. This right here is the front queen. It's a great park style trailer. This is that peach marmalade, and you better believe we're laying it on thick. And I'm here with my friend Brennan Hannemeyer on the camera today. How's it going, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. If you don't mind hitting the like button, hit the subscribe button. We're also on Instagram, TikTok, and on Facebook. If you want to chat with us there, follow along with us. This floor plan, super sweet. You got to set this up at your seasonal site and just enjoy summer. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy this awesome video. Front power jack, 30 pound per paint tanks, battery in a box location right through there. These are standard wood frame aluminum skin. On the front queen model, which is what we have right now, we have a pass through storage. That does not exist if it's the front bunk. So front queen, pass through, front bunks, no pass through. Four stabilizer jacks. If you're setting this up on a seasonal site though, just block it right to the frame, that's better. And then a rock and pinion style slide, pulling our couch and our U-shaped dinette off the floor. We've got some aluminum rims, so you're looking hot at the campsite right in through there. Outside shower, uh, furnace vent, city water, black water flush kit. Secondary slide pulling that main bedroom off the floor. Brandon, I forgot to unlock this one, buddy. Ooh. Let's see how quick we can be. If I put my hips into it, it's faster. There we go. Some storage here underneath our rear bed, uh, which is fantastic. Access from the inside and from the outside. Wrapping around the backside, 10 gallon gas electric water heater. 50 amp detachable style cord, that's an option. And then uh, cable satellite inlet. We got our um, spare tire here. We're gonna cover that with a beautiful Lazy Acre tire cover. We got that roof ladder, that stairway to heaven, baby. Get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. Secondary entrances here, so we have nice easy access to the bedroom and to the washroom on the campsite. And then we got our friction door. Electric awning starting here, going all the way forward, covering our patio door, LED lights in the awning, outside speakers, range hood vent, outside TV location, and then a freshwater filled. Not very common using a freshwater tank at a seasonal site, but do what you want. Three-step entrance, lend the hand, grab the handle, the other side of our pass-through. Anything else, Brandon? No, let's check out the inside. Let's do it, buddy. Right on, folks. We're inside that 38 BHDS. We're right in the living space right now. Here's our main slide, pulling our U-shaped dinette and our trifold so sofa off the floor. The U-shaped dinette's great because you can see a bunch of people around it. It also turns into a bigger bed. And then we don't have any carpet here in the slide with storage here underneath the dinette. And then right here, we got that Stacy Stewart collection on the uh, farmhouse interior. That's a trifold style sofa. Pull that out, turn into a secondary bed too. And then storage here across the top, but a ton of windows in the slide. Our secondary bedrooms in through here, we're gonna get to it, but we got this corner style unit with the TVs across from the couch, which works. We got storage here. We got an insignia TV with storage in behind that TV, which is cool. And then we have a radio down below, nice fireplace as well. And then a spot to take off the shoes and store those underneath there. Now moving into the kitchen, We've got uh, seamless countertops, undermount plastic sink, storage across the top with a built-in shelf, that's important. Microwave range hood, glass stove top cover over top of three burner stove top with an oven down below it. And then four drawers here, all built into the kitchen. Cupboards right here. And then maybe we got a cupboard around this side. Yeah, we do have a cupboard around this side, Brennan. Nice little spot there as well. Now looking back, we have our uh, residential fridge, it's a 110 fridge, like a household one, which is great for a park setting. We got storage here across the top of it, and then flipping around to the other side, we got our pantry space right in through here. Now let's head backwards through our walk-through wash. Come right in, Brennan. We'll get cozy in through here. We have a porcelain style toilet. Let's see if the dump truck fits. Oh, you better believe it. Storage here down below. Not seamless, uh, just like a standard laminate countertop, oversized sink, cover spacing through there, and then into the shower. I'm six feet tall, I fit in here nice and easy, lots of overall height, radius style shower stall, and then nice linen closet right through there with some more of the same down through there. Now into the main bedroom, 
Great footwork today, Brandon. <laughs> Top notch. We got a king size bed. Yeah, king size bed out in the slide. Windows on both sides of the slide. Uh, storage across the top of it. A couple lights there too. And then a great kind of wardrobe action here at the back. Some drawers that pull out. Nice desk, dresser area, receptacle, big window at the back with our legitimate wardrobe right through here. Open shelving. And then three large drawers down below here. And then another big window here bringing in our natural light. Now, let's go talk about the secondary bedroom. Like I said, a few different iterations of it. This is the front queen. Um, yeah, so this is like a queen queen layout or queen king layout. We've got wardrobe space on both sides. Storage here across the top bedside tables and I like this this is new for you know last year I guess we got the space right here you can just shove duffel bags or totes and stuff like that underneath the bed that's the video folks hopefully you enjoyed it hit the like button the subscribe button hit us up on Instagram Facebook and TikTok and then send us an email at sales at lazyacres.com have a good day